Hey guys, welcome back to yet another Minecraft series. Oh man, it's been two months now. It's been oh, over two months. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm back. And I am back with a special episode. And I will have to build something for this very special episode. Uh, I need a compass and I need a clock. I have a clock. There's a compass. Why do I need a clock and a compass? Because I want to do two things. First things first. Um, I got uh, my, my blog was nominated by by a colleague of mine who has a really really cool blog. It's called the Organized Cardigan. Um, I'm not sure if it's um, dot com or dot de but you can you can try and um, it's from my, my colleague Stonelight and she she blogs about um, oh well organizing stuff I guess is the best description and clothing um, clothes and, and fashion um, no, not really fashion oh I uh, yeah she will correct me if it's not about fashion but anyway um, oh damn it oh damn it um, I was nominated for the Leapster Award, which is just basically uh, an award for um, from someone loving or liking a blog like mine, and um, yeah, I was not only nominated, but I have to, but I have to answer eleven questions, and I will do that. And I thought, how could I, yeah, answer that questions in a nice way. And I came up with um, the idea for this special episode in Minecraft, as you can see. And if you know Minecraft and Let's Players, uh, you probably know Kurt J. Mac. Uh, Kurt J. Mac is a, is a YouTuber and yeah, Minecraft player who um, started the series Farlands or Bust. And Farlands or Bust is. Uh, yeah, well, Kurt J. Mac about uh, walking westwards in Minecraft. Um, let me just build a boat real quick. Um, yeah, walking westwards for about four years now. Play Minecraft, walking west, and um, yeah, he receives questions from viewers and he answers them while playing Minecraft while walking west and I thought yeah it would be would be kind of cool answering the questions from the live while playing Minecraft and walking well it's south because I, I haven't been uh, too much south in, in my Minecraft world but yeah anyway um, yeah but when walking answering questions when walking that's what I'm doing so it's a little homage to Kurt J. Mack and Farlands or Bust. Um, and, and by the way, um, first of all, I'll, I'll put a link. Oh, what's that? It's weird. Put in a link in the description, of course, to his, his uh, YouTube channel. And also to Child's Play Charity, which is an organization that collects money in order to buy um, games and, yeah, and, and, and toys for children who are in hospital and I really like that um, yeah I like the idea Coach and Mac is, is collecting for them and yeah I think if you like this episode yeah donate a dollar or a euro or two to Child's Play Charity I'll put a link in the, in the description as well if you do that you can, can leave a message maybe you could leave um, something nice I don't know Okay, so that's that. Let's get to the 11 questions that I received to answer. Um, I'll read them in, in German first and try to translate them into English. Um, the first question is, wie bist du zum Bloggen gekommen? How did you start blogging? Um, um, I have to, to split this answer because I started a blog in 2006 when I I graduated from university. I got a job in Hamburg and I moved to Hamburg from Braunschweig. 
And yeah, I started the blog to let my family know, my family know what I was doing, what was I, what I experienced, and my, my friends, of course. I should have made more boats. And that's why I started that blog. It was called, what was it called? Uh, it was called WF2BS2HH, which uh, you can, can derive from the license plates from some German cities. Uh, both Mittel, Braunschweig, and, and Hanover, Hanover, no, Hanover, sorry, not Hanover, of course, not Hanover, Hamburg, of course, that's where I moved, and yeah, I blocked about, yeah, what, what I did in Hamburg, and yeah, honestly, I, I guess, I know, I, that's not true, I, I know about one person who actually read my blog posts, and well, I stopped blogging when I moved to Berlin one year later. But anyway, in 2009, uh, I restarted really blogging, you could say. That's um, when I started my, my present blog. And um, I did it when working at university and I guess I had nobody to talk to somehow. Um, yeah. I really am into open science and stuff like that and yeah like open source I won't go into detail but um, hmm yeah my colleagues were not into that they didn't think highly of open science I think and yeah I, I just I guess I needed someone who listened and my blog was somehow blo me blogging was somehow like shouting out to yeah to the public and isn't anybody out there who's interested in that as well and well there was and well, that's a different story but that's how i got into blogging i well, maybe i need someone to talk to isn't that sad okay um it's getting dark and i think i will do what J. Mac would do. He would build an elevating, high, elevated hiding hole, as he calls it, like that. And he would put a torch here. And he would put this bed here and say something to introduce the night and go to sleep. And like this. <laughs> And awakeness, he would say. And he would leave the bat, but I just have one, I need it. Um, yeah, question number two. Dein erster Blogbeitrag, punkt, 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 which would be your first blog post, dot, dot, dot. And I guess I have to continue that. Was probably, my first blog post was probably something like, Hello world, as well, yeah, as every good programmer starts his first programming experience, I guess. Yeah, nothing special. So, boring answer. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Uh, question number three. Wenn wir dich beim Bloggen beobachten könnten, was würden wir sehen? Uh, translates to, if we could see you blogging, what would we see? Um, well, first of all, you, you could see me um, in my living room with my laptop. Or you could see me in the room next to that, which hmm, I would call Rumpelkammer in Germany. Uh, a room that is full of stuff, which is messy and... Hmm, wait a second, I have to get out here. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, where my computer is, my, my bigger computer, you could see, where I'm sitting right now. Sometimes you could see me in my office at university, and sometimes you could see me in a bus or on a train, because I sometimes blog on my cell phone, not, not complete blog posts, but part of it. So first of all, you could see me in lots of different locations when blogging, but what would you see? would see me, of course, typing and erasing words and struggling for words and rephrasing my sentences. 
I guess because I write my oh hi Spidey. I write my my blog posts and read them and think, hmm, what could the reader get from from that sentence or how could he understand this one and I re rewrite it and yeah until I'm I'm satisfied. It's not that I need my blog post to be perfect, but um, I want to prevent misunderstandings because that happens quite often in the internet. Yeah, so that's what you could see. Maybe, yeah, a beverage next to my computer, just right now. It's, it's Club Mate. Let's see. Uh, freshly opened. Mm. It could also be a Coke, but without sugar, because I, I hate sugared Coke. I think it's, yeah, I loved it as a child, I guess, but man, I, I don't like it now. So that's what you could see. Question number three. Um, <coughs> question number four. Wissen deine Freunde und Bekannte, dass du bloggst und wie finden sie das? Do you have friends and, um, yeah, people you know, uh, know that you're blogging and what do they think about it? Um, yeah, I think most of my friends know that I'm blogging and um, yeah, lots of bekannt, lots of, yeah, what, I don't know the English word. Um, yeah, just people I know know that I'm blogging and sometimes somebody tells me, hey, I read that post, I liked it, but not too often. And so I don't know what they think, really. Um, Oh yeah, maybe uh, people, guys, if you uh, read my blog post and maybe if you see this YouTube video, this Minecraft video, um, yeah, well, just answer yourself. You could leave a comment and tell me what you think about my, my blog, my blog posts. Hmm? Okay, um, yeah, question number five. Wenn du noch einen Blog starten würdest, worüber würdest du schreiben? Worum würde es gehen? If you would start... If you started the next, no, that, that restart. If you started another blog, what would it be about? Um, to be honest, I don't think I would start a second or another blog. Um, a blog is something personal, I think, <clears throat> at least for me. And it's yeah. Well, if I blog it, it's about what I what I like, what I think. And I think about different topics, of course, like science or Minecraft or education or whatnot. And it's intertwined somehow. And I don't think I would like to blog about just one topic. Oh, look, look, cuties. Oh, hi. Oh, so hi. You have to see this. Oh, albino. Oh, look. That's Minecraft. You, you always wonder why I like Minecraft. Look at this bunny. Isn't it adorable? So I now, oh, look at it. Isn't it cute? So, so I, I will give you 20 bucks and you can grab a, mine, a copy of Minecraft, I guess. Now you will. Okay, uh, back to my, my uh, block or second block or not second block. Um, oh, that's a lot of, a lot of gravel. Okay, uh, a squirrel. Um, um, yeah, I think um, yeah, it's hard to explain. I think a block is something personal and it should mirror myself or my personality. So, stuff um, I think about from different perspectives, maybe I could say. It's like. It's, yeah, you know, you know Harry Potter. It's um, I don't want one seven Horcruxes uh, con containing my soul, and I don't want several blocks containing my thoughts. So, no, make it simple. I just would not start a second block or another block. Um, number six. Do you have a favorite block? Let's see. Um, favorite block. What? 
blocks do I read? Uh, I think it's. Hmm, I have a page. Uh, it's not. It's not really a blog, but it's it's from Gunther Dück who who writes at omnisophie.com. Um, Gunther Dück is, is the former chief technology officer of IBM Germany, and well, it's not really a blog, but he writes every month, once every month. Um, yeah, about about life and um, the internet. Oh, look, so many bunnies. So we're in one point in territory. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, he writes about life, IT, education, and it's. I really like his blog. No, it, it's well it, his site, but it's kind of a blog. So that's probably my my favorite one. Question number seven. <coughs> oh, that's um. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Bist du? Question number seven. German first. Bist du eher Scanner? So now brackets in Klammern. Dich interessieren viele Sachen, die du aber nicht bis zur Tiefe durchdringen musst. Oder ein Taucher, der interessiert. Der. Oh my God. Du interessierst dich hauptsächlich für eine Sache und das in aller ihrer Tiefe. Okay, let's try to translate it. Are you a scanner? Which means um, you're interested in lots of, of different topics, but you don't have to uh, yeah, grasp them in, their, in, in, in total depth. Something like that. Or are you a diver? Well, right now I'm in water and a diver, uh, which means the opposite. So uh, you're interested in, in few topics, but you are really into them. Um, that is pretty simple. I am a scanner, definitely. Um, I'm interested in lots of stuff. Um, IT and education, maybe most. So these are, yeah, you know, uh, horses, a little special. Uh, education and IT are a little special, but I'm also interested in, in politics and physics and biology, um, in sociology and psychology. So lots of different stuff and Hmm. You could say I, I know much about little. Hmm. Well, I'm yeah. You, you could read my Twitter tagline, which reads um, uh, "Jack of all trades, master of none," which in German is Hans Dumpf in allen Gassen. You could say, uh, well, somebody, yeah, who's interested in lots of stuff and, and knows little about many things. Maybe you could say. I'm not, I would not, uh, I'd say I'm not an expert, a real expert at anything. Yeah, sadly. But, well, I can live with it. Question number eight. Auf was auf dieser Welt könntest du nicht verzichten? Um, would be in English, um, what on earth could you live without? What could I live without? I'm tempted to say caffeine, but it's not true because I know I can live without caffeine. Okay, well maybe uh, let's build another elevated hiding hole first. Get up. Three and one here and one here and let's grab my bag. There, oh, I have to put the torch here. And we will continue in the morning. And awakeness. Okay, let's continue. What couldn't I live without? Um, oxygen, but <laughs> that's true for most people, I guess. Um, hmm. I think it's social contacts probably, and I, I don't mean friends I can touch, but contact to all the great people I got to know on Twitter and Google Plus and other social networks. Um, it does not exclude uh, yeah, carbon friends, so to speak. 
so true friends in real life uh, that I can touch, but yeah, I guess I couldn't. Oh, there's a the portal. Somebody was here. It wasn't me. Hmm. Let's check it out. Um, yeah, so social contacts in general. People who understand me. But, mm, yeah, I guess that's true. I like these people. Uh, I think I like people who truly understand me and I can... Oh, somebody has been here. Look at that. Okay, let's continue. Um, yeah, I found them on the internet and I think I couldn't live without them. Question number nine. Auf was auf dieser Welt könntest du sofort verzichten? Just the opposite. What could you totally live without right now? <laughs> what can I live without? Does it, hmm, does it have to be something I don't like? I guess. Um, then I could live without cars, actually. I don't like cars. I don't need, I, have, I don't have a car. I never owned a car. And I think I never will. Yeah, I could totally live without cars. I think there are too many cars in the world making too many problems <clears throat> just like too many men um yeah that's my answer to question number nine question number ten mit wem würdest du gerne mal in einer kneipe an der theke bei einem bier oder wein über das leben philosophieren und warum mit dieser person okay let's get out of that boat first um the question is um who would you like to go to a bar with and drink a beer and chat about life and why with that person? Okay, that's a tricky one. Um, that's really a tricky one. Of maybe the first, uh, the, the, uh, yeah, the, easy, the easy part first, I would drink beer. Probably Guinness or Kilkenny because I like that. Um, oh, look at these cuties. I wish I had some carrots to feed them. Um, yeah, but, but who would I drink the beer with? Maybe Gunther as well. But, but if the guy with the, the blog I like. But I already did that once. I met him in, in Switzerland. I had a wine with them, not a beer. And we chatted a little bit. Um, well, who else? Could it also be a dead person? Maybe that's easier. Or, hmm. Hmm, that's really a difficult question. I don't know. Maybe Oscar Wilde? I think, nah, not really. Interesting books about chatting about life. I don't really know. Who would I like to drink a beer with? I don't know, you know, I'm... <sighs> I'm not the guy who, who adores people or... Yeah. As a, uh, there must be someone I... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. There are, there are lots of people who come to my mind who, who I'd like to meet, but chat about life and philosophy and stuff like that. I really don't know. I have no clue. I'm sorry, I, I cannot answer question number 10. That's the way it is. Oh, let's get around this little island. Makes no sense to bump into it. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot answer number 10, I fear. So, question number 11. Wenn du eine Million Euro gewinnen würdest, was würdest du tun? If you won one million euros, what would you do? Well, that's 
yeah quite simple but boring i guess um i wouldn't do too much fancy too yeah not too many fancy things i guess i would keep some i would save some money for myself and donate a lot that may sound cheesy but i guess it's true um, because i already donate a lot i donate to wwf which is an organization for protecting the wildlife and um, at Stolengrenzen, which is Doctors Without Borders, I guess, in, in English. And the Valholland Foundation, which um, is an organization from the Chaos, no, which is not from the Chaos Computer Club, but it's related to Valholland, who was a co-founder of, of the Chaos Computer Club in Germany. And a lot, I, I donate a lot to Science Starter, which is a platform uh, where you can um, kickstart science projects by crowdfunding and Abgeordneten Watch, which I think belongs to um, betterplace.org and I regularly donate 